the 3080 Ti is right around the corner and not only is it going to make the 3090 irrelevant for gamers but on top of that it's probably also going to be faster than it. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So the RTX 3080 Ti is almost here, and I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely getting really excited. But you know what, before we talk about the actual release date for the 3080 Ti, let's first go over those specs in case you haven't heard them before. So this originally came from the Twitter leaker Cop87 Kimi, and what we're looking at here is likely going to be 10,240 CUDA cores, which is actually only 2% less than the RTX 3090. It's going to have 12 gigabytes of G6X memory, which I know some of you may be disappointed by the 12 gigabytes, but I think it's actually a good thing. I know there was originally some rumors about a 20 gigabyte model and I was never really certain on that so I'm actually a little bit glad that they did go with 12 gigabytes but in any case yeah that's actually only half the amount of memory that you find on the RTX 3090 so for those of you who are 3D artists or maybe you need this uh, 24 gigabytes of memory for some reason uh, yeah the 3080 Ti might not be for you but in any case it's going to be running at 19 gigabits per second on the same 384 bit bus that you get on the RTX 3090 so yeah you're only going to be getting once again to about 2% less uh, memory bandwidth in the RTX 3090 so all of those specs put together yeah you're going to be looking at a card that in terms of its gaming performance right now and into the near future is likely only going to be you know maybe like one percent slower than the rtx 3090 in fact it's basically going to be uh imperceptible to really anyone unless you're like a computer so yeah it's really not going to matter in terms of gaming performance and in fact it may actually be faster because you know at least out of the box the rtx 3090 does not have resizable bar working now you're going to be able to flash it very soon here so if you are using an rtx 3090 and you're comfortable flashing your vBIOS, there should be some BIOSes that make their way online. I think first for the Founders Edition of the RTX 3090 and then AIBs should follow suit so you can get resizable bar. Uh, if you don't know what resizable bar is, it essentially allows your processor, I believe, to access all the memory on your GPU instead of accessing only little bits at a time, which can actually improve performance in some games. Uh, but if you take a look at the 3080 Ti, much like the RTX 3060, this card is going to have resizable bar out of the box. So the out of the box performance of the RTX 3080 Ti versus the RTX 3090, the 3080 Ti is likely actually going to be just a little bit faster. Now we're only talking uh, probably somewhere between like 3 and 5% on average, but in some cases, uh, there may be some games where you see like maybe 10% more performance of the RTX 3080 Ti, which is definitely exciting. And there's one other thing I think is exciting about this GPU is that, you know, if they do use the same, you know, quality of G6X memory uh, that you do find in the RTX 3090, it's going to be very easy to not only overclock the core on this card, but also overclock that memory so you can get all that memory bandwidth back and get over one terabyte per second of memory bandwidth and I think that the RTX 3080 Ti overall is going to be probably the best overclocking model that you get in the whole entire stack as I believe they're probably going to be shooting for roughly a 320 uh, watt TDP versus the 350 watt TDP that you see on the 3090 uh, simply due to probably a little bit lower clock speeds on the GDDR6X as well as the core and then on top of that it uses half of the memory so yeah they're probably going to be targeting a slightly lower TDP but those AIB models with the uh, in increased amount of wattage that you can use should allow you to get some pretty decent overclocks out of this. I wouldn't be surprised if you're able to squeeze like more than 10% out of this card, maybe even 15% uh, if you're lucky. So yeah, that would definitely be exciting if you're able to squeeze a decent amount of overclocking out of this thing. And I think, you know, all these factors put together is going to make it definitely the better alternative for gamers versus the RTX 3090, which is why I'm so excited. And on top of that, uh, like I mentioned earlier, the release date is coming up fast here. You know, um, according to videocards.com, as well as the YouTuber Red Gaming Tech. It should be actually coming out sometime mid-April and I would guess that it's probably going to be say like April 18th plus or minus a couple days. So yeah we're definitely getting really really close here. We're only about one month away and that's really nice to see that we're going to get one more option of a video card that we can potentially at least try and buy which we'll get into the availability in just a little bit here. But you know uh, first let's go ahead and discuss the price because you know I've been hearing for some time that the RTX 3080 Ti should be coming in at an MSRP of 1000 US dollars. Now of course with all the crazy stuff that's going on right now it's going to be really really hard to get a founder's edition for 1000 us dollars uh you might get lucky you might be able to find one for that and if you can that's definitely a much better deal than the rtx 3090 however a lot of these aib models are probably going to be starting around 1200 us dollars and upwards so you may even see uh some you know special editions of this card reaching up towards the rtx 3090 in price which is definitely something that i don't want to see but hey it's just kind of the way things are because i mean what are you going to do when rtx 3090s are going on the used market 
it for $3,000. I guess $1,500 is a better option, but it's definitely really, really pricey. And in fact, just a thousand US dollars is already really, really pricey for a GPU. But again, it's definitely a much better alternative for gamers versus the RTX 3090. Uh, of course, if you're someone who's a 3D artist or you want to hold on to your card for like five to 10 years or something crazy like that, uh, then yeah, the 24 gigabytes of VRAM is definitely going to be better for you. But I would guess that most people who do end up spending, say, 1000 US dollars or even greater on a GPU are probably the same people who like to, you know, put a new GPU in their system every single year as it's really not that much effort to take out a GPU and slap a new one in. But in any case, let's go ahead and wrap this video up with what the availability is likely going to be with this card. Now, we don't have anything official. However, you know, if I was to guess based on what the availability of the 3080 and 3090 is going to be, uh, yes, it's going to be hard to get. However, I do believe that this card is going to be much easier to get than the 3080. Of course, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But, you know, uh, if you take a look at the 3080, you do need a fairly defective die to actually cut it all the way down to a 3080. And the 3080 is in really, really high demand as well. Um, but with the 3090, I definitely do see a lot more of those coming online. So clearly the yields over at Samsung are fairly good at least. And I do believe that they've been storing up some 3080 Ti GPUs for some time as well as the uh, actual release date for the 3080 Ti has been pushed back several times now. Of course, hopefully they don't push it back again. But considering how many times it's been pushed back, uh, I do believe that there's going to be a lot more supply this time around than maybe you saw uh, even with the RTX 3080. I think there's going to be a lot more at least on day one. But hey, we'll have to wait and see what happens happens there you know if anything official does end up happening make sure that you're subscribed and you hit the bell icon on this channel as I'll definitely be uh, paying very close attention to the 3080 Ti news as I do think that it's actually one of the more exciting GPUs of this whole generation besides maybe the potential 3070 Ti which I have mentioned in the past and which is still looking like it probably is happening but it's a little bit further of a ways off but hey that's just what I think are you excited for the RTX 3080 Ti and do you think that you're actually be able to get one let me know your thoughts in the comments below and of course I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.